Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. Today we're checking out one of the most popular shopping destinations in New Jersey, the Freehold Raceway Mall. Located between Route 9 and Route 33, across from the Freehold Raceway, this shopping and lifestyle center is one of the largest and busiest in the state. The mall was opened in 1990 and has since undergone major renovations and changes to become the complete experience it is today. With six anchor tenants and 225 stores in business, there's almost nothing you won't find under the plaza's gorgeous roof. Other mall staples, including a full food court, additional restaurants, various out parcel locations, and a movie theater, make the Freehold Raceway Mall an exciting destination for residents from all over the state, especially during the holiday season when shoppers are looking for the best gifts, gadgets, and goods, and maybe even a classic photo with Santa. We have marketing manager Deborah Panzarella with us today to give us all the information we need to make the best out of our trip to the Freehold Raceway Mall. So Deborah, the Freehold Raceway Mall has been around almost 30 years. How have you evolved over the years? Well, we've made big progress over the last, since 1990, really. We started with two department stores on either end, Sears and Lord and & Taylor. We added JCPenney, then we added Nordstrom, and then years later, Macy's. Now you were building your mall as other malls were looking at this genre of retail to be going away. What have you sustained in all these years? I think we have a wide market. I think we appeal to a wide market. Um, it, we don't just have high-end stores. We have a little bit of everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. So we're diverse enough that we're able to appeal to the masses. So I understand Primark joined you in the summer. Tell me about that. Primark came in July. They're an exciting retailer. They come from Ireland and they have stores throughout the world. This was the fourth Primark in the country which is very exciting for us. Their merchandise is towards men, women, children, and they do have some homes and, and accessories, and at a value price. So it's affordable to come shopping for the whole family. Now it's interesting, Primark shared the space that Sears had. How is retail changing? Well, I think it's always reinventing itself. Sears reduced down to what they're best at. They're best at their hard goods, uh, their hardware, their um, electronics. Um, so it, it worked well because Primark took out all the soft goods uh, portion of, of that space. I know you also have a concert series. We have bands from the New Jersey region come in. Tell me about that and other events that you have. We do. Uh, we have a concert series in the summer, in July and August. Uh, and we do it out by our restaurants where guests can sit on uh, in the patios of our restaurants or sit on the lawn in front of the stage and enjoy bands like the B Street Band and the Nerds and uh, many others throughout the, ho the summer season. A mall is more than just shopping, it's social as well. And I think guests want that whole experience. They want to have a meal here, they want to shop, they want entertainment. So. We're able to bring all that together for them. We also have other programs, including Kids Club, which we do the first Saturday of every month at nine o'clock in the morning. So we um, do it in the food court and have all kinds of events that uh, the whole family will enjoy. We have free carousel rides to 11 and um, prize drawings and 94.3 The Point is, is here every month as well hosting. We've changed with the times. Um, as technology has progressed, so have we. We have a mall app. You can actually text questions to our concierge and get answers within a timely fashion. So if you're looking for where a particular store is in the mall, if you're looking for certain merchandise or what restaurants we have, we'll answer you. It's a great service and people love it. And it's very easy. As it's in the palm of their hand, they can find directions to their favorite store that they're looking for um, right from their phone. 
It also will give them sales. It'll tell them about events that are going on. And it'll even help them remember where their parking spot is. And even Santa HQ is technologically advanced. Wow, Santa HQ. Tell me about this experience. Well, it's so fun. We have a lot of technologically advanced uh, things that go on here. First of all, it's sponsored by HGTV, so we have photos of some of our favorite hosts from HGTV and some of their content. We also have Elfie selfies where you can take a picture of yourself on the iPad and then send it to yourself um, via social media as well. And you'll be in a dancing elf video. The next area is our naughty and nice meter. Uh, so children put their names into um, the naughty and nice meter, stand underneath, and we just see how nice they are. All right, I'll try it. Naughty or nice, let's see how I do. P-A-R-Y, right? So we're gonna scan you. I'm being scanned? Let's see, you made the, no the nice list. I made the nice list. <laughs> yeah, I made the nice list. Okay. So do they pay a fee to do through this entire experience? Is that what happens? No, no. It, if they they choose to take a photo with Santa, there's the cost of the photos. But this is just fun. So now we go into this area here. This is the control center of Santa HQ, and in the control center we have things for kids to play with. But we also have icons throughout where you can point um, iPads or download the Alfred Vision app point it at our icons, and fun things happen, and we have them several places throughout the set. And sometimes if you touch them, they move, and they open up to a new world. Neat stuff. So what happens in the control center? Well, this is Santa's control center, and it's really geared to younger children, so there's a lot of tactile uh, pieces that they can play with that are part of Santa's control center. We have a map of where Santa travels throughout the world. And then up here, uh, it shows them different parts of the Santa HQ set. Now this will go on till uh, Christmas Day or beyond? Uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, and then it all closes down. And, oh, yeah. and then we'll bring it back next year. I know a lot of families come here, so do you take pictures of families here? We have two areas. We have first a family photo area, so parents parents and the children can take it together and we have a beautiful backdrop. And it's probably great to have a professional take it opposed to trying to do it yourself. Yes. We have some children that are a little afraid of Santa so it's what another opportunity for a photo. So beyond all this we have Santa Claus. Yes, Santa's in the house. Uh, we're excited to start the holiday season. Uh, we had Santa arrival uh, November 11th and uh, we're excited for the rest of the holiday. So families can have their photo taken with Santa and they purchase a copy, is that how that works? They can and purchase a copy. They can also go online and order extra prints or uh, make cards. How can people learn more about the mall and the different events you have? We have a website, freeoldracewaymall.com, and we have an event page. We also are on social media, so we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As Deborah mentioned earlier, the mall's Outdoor Lifestyle Center is home to frequent concerts, and tonight they have American Idol Season 8 winner Chris Allen taking the stage. When we return, we'll talk to Chris about his show and his recently released album. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're here at the Friel Raceway Mall, taking in the holiday shopping experience. But before long, the stage outside will light up with music from singer-songwriter Chris Allen. Chris was the champion of the eighth season of American Idol, receiving better than half of the votes in the finale. Since his big win on Idol, he's released five studio albums and champions music education, humanitarian work, and philanthropy around the world. Now he's traveling to various malls for intimate holiday season performances before setting off on tour again. We caught up with Chris before his show to give us some insights on his musical career, the holidays, and New Jersey. How does a kid from Arkansas become an American Idol champ? Um, well, I think that for me, knowing, like wanting to play music and wanting to do it for so long was this kind of unattainable dream. And so being on Idol was kind of like the way that I thought that I could do it, you know? Um, so we 
me and my brother actually drove up to Louisville because they weren't trying out in Arkansas. Uh, we drove up to Louisville and, and just decided to do it. You know, I, I, it was kind of one of those, like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then life is, will go on and life will be good. But, um, but I'm really happy it happened. <laughs> now, you got picked and your brother didn't. There was no animosity there, there right? There was. I think he was bummed that he didn't get it, you know. But, uh, but it was still, like, it was, it was still one of those things that, like, he... I think he's very happy for me, and he still is to this day. Now, you released an album before that, so you had some experience in writing, correct? I did, yeah. I, I mean, I listen back to the, that music and that record now, and I'm like, I feel like I've come a long way, but uh, but everyone's got to start somewhere. And I played a couple shows locally, but it wasn't a lot, man. And so um, I actually think that's the great thing about Idol, is that it takes these people that don't really know how to do it and maybe had no dream of it becoming that um, and then it just happens. So you go into the room, Simon, Paul, or Randy are all there. What was that like, your first time in front of these big stars? Well, the first time that I met actually Simon and Randy was um, right before I went on into that room. I had to go to the bathroom so bad and they had a little break. I know this is maybe a little TMI, but, uh, but so when I was in the bathroom, Simon and Randy actually both came in. And so I actually met them in the bathroom. So it, was, so it made me like a little bit less, uh, nervous and that type of thing when I was going in to sing for him because so we had just had that moment. You did your performance and they commented not everything was positive. No, it wasn't. And, and you know, I wasn't expecting for it to be. I'm not like your typically showy singer. I, I can't do a lot of the things that some people can do, but, but I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist and I'm a musician at heart and, and, and I'm, glad they, I'm glad they put me through because I think after that they kind of they got little glimpses of that after that, and um, and, it, and I think it helped me out through the, the rest of the competition. So as the winner of the eighth season of American Idol, that was really the pinnacle of Idol. Tell me about your experience in that eighth season. I think that eighth season was, um, I think talent-wise and just overall everything about that season, I think there was something special about it. I think we could, as a contestants, I think we could feel it. I think any of us felt like we could win. And I remember I packed my bags every week because everyone was so good and I was ready. I was, I was always preparing myself to go home. Um, but I think, I think so many people watched that season. And I'm not gonna say that the show started to like, decline a little bit after that, because I, I don't, there's so many talented people that have come off the show after that. Um, but I think maybe we broke the show. I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I, maybe I broke the show by winning because I don't know if I was supposed to win or not. But, um, but it was, it, I think there's just talent wise, it was, I, I mean, I, I, I'd like to say that, it, think that it was the best. Right. Now you've released several albums since you were on. Tell us about those and you have one out now and you released one in March. Tell me about your career since then. Yeah, I've, I feel like my career since then has been um, kind of a, uh, a really quietly great one. <laughs> Um, I, I feel like, and I'm not saying that, uh, I say that very humbly, like I am uh, very lucky to have made the first two records, I made those on labels and, and in the past two, three now with the Christmas, the new Christmas record, I've done on my own and, and, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of doing right now what I've wanted to do for a long time and that's just do this. That's, I'm able to make music for a living and go around playing it. And this is like, this is the dream, man. This is, this is, my, this was my dream. My dream was never to be all over the radio or uh, playing in stadiums. If that happens, awesome. But I'm making the music that I love. I'm making think, uh, pieces of art that I'm really proud of and, um, and people enjoy it, so. Now you're, you're on, in the middle of a tour now. You're continuing a tour? Uh, kind of, this is, so we've been doing these like, these mall things like this, kind of Tiffany style, <laughs> and uh, yeah. and it's been really fun. Like we have one more next weekend, but then after after Thanksgiving, I have a whole Christmas tour um, with a with an artist named Jim Brickman. So it should be really fun. So now you married your high school sweetheart, and you have two children. What's married life been? You were one of the first Idol winners who was married. Is that it? I was the first married Idol winner. So my wife always joke. I joked with her back then that she was the like. Uh, first wife of American Idol. So um, she is, uh, I couldn't, I'm glad that I got married 
Like I, I got married in September, the show started in February or something like that. Like I needed that companionship to get through things. That was the craziest and most um, insane thing that I could have done in my lifetime ever, in what in most people's lifetime. Uh, and she really was a huge help with it and kind of helped me like get me out of some ditches and talk me off some ledges. So I'm very, I'm very lucky that she was a part of the whole thing. Tell me about your music videos. What's it like making music videos for your song? I, I am a, uh, I am not, <laughs> I feel like I have good ideas for music videos, but I never want to be on camera. <laughs> so, um, like even the last video, I was there, but it was kind of just a silhouette of me. Um, and we actually just shot a, uh, a video for a Christmas song. And I, I think I'm in the video all of three seconds at the very end of the, of, uh. of the video. I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not a good actor, I'm not a good like, I'm a good like musical performer, but I'm not a good like camera performer. So I always, I always think of these ideas where I don't have to be involved. <laughs> I guess when you came back from Idol and 20,000 people came to join you, that experience was interesting for you? There was, I think, something like that in my tiny hometown. I don't even know if that many people live there. Yeah, right. uh, there's still a picture at my house above like my studio door that is that picture. And it was a, I, it's weird because I wish I could have like really taken in that moment or someone could have like took me aside like, Chris, you need to really like remember this. Because it was all happening so fast, it was kind of getting ushered from place to place. Um, we were only there during, for one day and I had to do a bunch of stuff. But uh, I was, it's one of those things I think about now and like pieces kind of come back here and there. And it's one of those like, I feel very lucky to be able to do that. And I go back home now to that town and, and I think people still talk about it. People, people still talk about that. There's a stage, that stage that I'm standing on, it's actually named after me now. So right. it's pretty crazy. That's the last question. You're performing here at Freeroy Raceway Mall. I know you have uh, Michael Jackson as an influence. Any connection to Bruce Springsteen as an influence? And what do you think about your performance here today? Everybody loves Bruce Springsteen here in New Jersey, right? <laughs> and we're freehold, so yeah, all the more. This right? is it. Uh, we were actually driving through, and there was like the Born to Run marathon. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, everything here has to be Bruce. Um, I will say the most inspiring and spiritual moment that I've ever had at a show, I went to a Bruce Springsteen show. Um, and. It was in LA. We were at the LA Sports Arena, which he could play Staples, but he chooses to play the LA Sports Arena. Um, and it was, it was just one of those things. I don't even, like since that moment, I've gotten into to Springsteen's music more, a lot more. Um, but I didn't know a lot of those songs, but there was like a spiritual thing that was happening while he was on stage. And I was all in. I was totally all in. I don't know if he just makes you believe it, um, but since then I've become a huge fan. And um, I've actually gotten to do a lot of stuff with, uh, with Stevie Van Sant, and um, I know him well, which is really crazy <laughs> um, when I think about it. Um, and I've actually gotten to meet Bruce too. So that we, we actually sang together on stage for Stevie. And it was, it's just a surreal moment. I don't take pictures with anybody, but I was like, hey, Bruce, That's do you mind, buddy, if I take a picture? And he was very nice. So tell us about your concert here today. What, do, what should we expect? Uh, I think there's a mixture of Christmas songs and not Christmas songs, but it seems like people are getting more and more into the Christmas spirit. When we started doing these, I think we were only doing like two Christmas songs. Now we're doing more and more and more. So um, yeah, there's a lot of new Christmas songs, and then there's some old ones reimagined. And um, yeah, it's. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just me and, and my keyboard players, so um, we, we ask for a lot of crowd participation because not a big band, you know? Good for you. Well, good luck. Thank you so much for being on our show. Thanks, Gary. Be well. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Like a sinking ship that's keeping me up. 
Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're back at the Frail Raceway Mall today to give you an inside look at opening day of the mall's new and exciting anchor retailer, Primark. Welcome to Primark at the Freehold Raceway Mall. It's a great morning here in Freehold Township because Primark, we have been waiting for you. We offer our customer 50,700 square feet of inspiring shopping experience. We provide our customers with amazing prices and our collection reflects the latest trends in fashion. I wasn't expecting any of this and it's like really big. I love the way it's set up and the clothes are so pretty. I love everything here and I'm gonna spend so much money. I heard so many great things about Primark. I was so excited to hear that it was coming to Freehold. Super convenient. I love the prices. It's just a great addition to all the great stores in the mall. It's an amazing shopping experience and I know people will come here to see the store and then they'll come back again and again because it has everything you want at amazing prices. of our elected officials, I know that this is going to be the best store that you have in the United States. <laughs> I was in the mall a few weeks ago and I saw the fashion look really cute and I was really excited for it. And the ads are all over the mall. They got me really excited for the opening of it. I was super excited when I came in today. Me and my friend saw advertisements for this and we were just so excited to come here this morning and see the opening and we're here and I'm so excited for it. On behalf of the Board of Primark and the U.S. management team, 
I would like to welcome you all to the opening of Primark Freehold Railway Mall. Welcome, Primark. Thank you for coming to Freehold. Glad we're here. Easy going, boy! Woo! Thank you for joining us on this edition of This is Jersey, the Friel Raceway Mall. We'll see you again next time.